everybody welcome back to the Morpha project and today um, we're gonna be uh, fixing the big tree up here so we're gonna do this part and then fix that part up towards the upper part and then once that is done we can then finally start on fixing um, the uh, last bit right here and then com uh, combine them oh no, no no we need to do first the tree uh, the the uh, connect all the uh, grass parts with each other and then we can start to uh, fuse this with this one or at least you know redo, redo it so that you know we can use it for later use all right um no further ado uh let's get started shall we so um today i actually achieved another achievement which is actually quite nice i really liked it and uh, today I actually achieved that I was able to draw again. The uh, I was able to draw Mina again, so I'm very happy about that. And uh, yeah, it actually turns out that it actually goes pretty well. So I'm very happy about that. The main problem that I had most of the time was that actually Mina was absolutely hurt looking horrendous every single time I tried to redraw uh, re her every single time I tried to do it. So I'm very happy that that is actually now not the case. Uh, why is this then not there? Oh, we do need uh, we do need this one then. Yeah, yeah. So I need to redo it over here as well then. All right. No biggie. We just can do that. That also explains why this pencil is right here in the wrong button. And then we need to also yeah black good. And then go to 3.6. I mean, uh, I actually did a lot of work, so that's already nice. Uh, which which one do we need to lock out then? No, not that one. What? Uh, we need to lock out this one. No, where's the other one? This one. Yeah. Alright, now we can start looking where we need to do. So this, that thing needs to be connected to this, but first we need to fix this. So, we're gonna do that. Um, how are we gonna do it? That's the question. Uh, we need to start from here to there. So, yeah, a lot of work has been going on, and uh, I'm making already a lot of progress, so I'm quite happy upon it. I mean, really, the uh, amount of progress that I'm making is quite, quite good, honestly. I mean, not all the progress is getting good, but a lot of it is. Um, I'm getting better at drawing uh, eyes, I'm getting better at drawing at the hair, so... Practice does make perfect, as they always say, which is good. You know, I like, I like having, I, I'm, I like to make sure that I'm doing practice correctly. Now you see what I'm gonna do here, is just create more lines to the drawing and therefore, you know, fixing the bits up that are left behind. And then, you know, once we put the whole damn thing under the coat, then this should be fine. So yeah, making a lot of progress, making a lot of practicing, and then, you know, Friday, I will be able to record it again. Looks again, there are some bots. And what kind of letter are we having today? It's gonna be Buzzer. Well done, Buzzer. Today, you're gonna get banned. Well done, bot. I'm so proud of you. So it's Buzzer Kalichnu. Oh, what, what is it? Buzzer Kyuk. Yeah, there you go. Buzzer Gyuk is gonna get removed. No, reported. I like to be unwanted spam. Thank you. Goodbye. So, yeah. As they always say, when you have some scary bots on your doorstep, they always will show up again. And I don't mind them to show up. It means that, you know, that I'm in the algorithm, which is uh, a good thing, right? Yeah, it's a good thing. If I'm in the algorithm, that means that I'm a good thing. That means that I'm actually packing up on the uh, amount of things. Uh, if bots are searching for me, that means that also people are searching for me, which is a, is a decent, uh, good, a good, a good thing. Honestly, even though that the bots are a little bit annoying, 
But today we learned that the letter B is also a bot. Oh man, could you uh, could you imagine it? The letter B being a bot. Ah, oh. ah oh, man, all those people that trusted the B side. <laughs> and then the bomb was on A. Oh no, all the misinformation. That would be horrible, especially if you play Counter Strike. Oh man, if you didn't know that the bots were on B. And then you get your ass handed because bots have outweigh him. Oh boy. Ah, man. But yeah. Um, getting all this done, you know, making sure that uh, this uh, tree is gonna look nicely and uh, it's sophisticated is uh, one of the things. Oh, hey, item wizard. Russian bots be Russian, uh, be, be Russian to get banned. Yeah. Yep. They have to be, they have to be Russian to get banned. It's one of those things, man. I mean, really, if they if they weren't, then uh, well, you know, a lot of things wouldn't have been happening. But um, I don't mind banning them. I uh, I don't even have a moderator, so therefore I'm like the only one in charge. But when you're the only one in charge, then it means that you also get are the only one to know who is a bot and who isn't. You know. So yeah, it would be more scary if the bots would actually react on the live stream itself. Instead of just linking stuff. Ooh. The bots that with artificial intelligence. Oh man. Those are the scary bots. Because those bots can let other bots just do their spamming. And therefore, you know, you're gonna get all you all. Then the live stream wouldn't work anymore. But since that YouTube is a crappy website when it comes to uh, doing the uh, doing the botting part right. And there's a... Uh, it's nice, because technically only a moderator has access to, uh, or me, has access to posting links. So if I would post a link, then, you know, you would be able to see it. Otherwise not. Yes, Dalo. Welcome to the great and glorious stream of trees. Trees for everyone. And I mean, really, it's it's all about trees here. We, uh, we have this beautiful tree right here, and that tree is... Uh, Gonna need to be drawn in. The main problem is that, well, you know, the tree is a, a big old-fashioned boy, so we need to make sure that the, the tree is uh, treated with, with respect. And creating lines in the tree is the hardest part here, because we don't want to have all the lines to be there, but we also don't want to have too little lines, which can cause major problems in the drawing itself. So, yeah. Creating, creating a tree, that is uh, what I'm now doing. Well, fixing the tree. I already created the tree, as you can see. Big giant tree right there. Fixing the tree, however, is a bigger deal. But I need to fix it in, in order to get the uh, last bit of the drawing correctly done. I believe it's... No, not that one. Th th this one? Yeah, this one needs to be on top of it again. Yeah, this, this one technically needs to be on top of this, on top of the root, and then, you know, we can then start drawing. But before we can do that, we need to first fix the whole line art problem. Because right now we have different line arts for different things, which is a bad thing. We actually want to have this kind of effect on a tree on the same side. So therefore, we need to do it again. And therefore, we need to add it some stuff in. Also, this tree is my. I um, will be using Bloom to fix the trees up a bit. So therefore, you know, we don't have to rely too much on the line art. We do have to rely on the line art, but we don't have to rely rely on the line art too much. All right. Now, um. It's nice to see that, you know, all these tree, all this tree work is a quite a delicated thing to do, but eventually, you know, you get all the things done. The same with Mina. You get your stuff done by just doing your job. By practicing, 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 and then you get your job right. I mean, you know, if, if people can make a visual novel so can I. That, that was my main logic. My main logic was like, if people can make a visual novel, then I can also make a visual novel. 
how hard can it be? And then I'm like, well, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do this, I need to do that. And I'm like, ah, well, let's just first try to do the basic stuff. And the basic stuff is already hard, but um, right now I have like the first chapter done and the intro done. So now I'm working on the, first, on the second chapter, which needs to have like a little base uh, lineup where I want to go. But I already know how it's going to be ending, which is quite nice. On, on which note it's going to be ending. So yeah, I'm very happy upon that. Um, right. Yeah, let me go over here and get that thing involved into it. And that would fix the line there. Yes. All right, good. Trees these days, sometimes a little bit difficult. Somehow, uh, uh, wait, somehow it should make a bot that is the skin wish to pass as a real person and name it Tur Turing. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know much about art, but it makes sense to, that certain things shouldn't be overly detailed. Yeah, that is true. But def therefore, we have the blur tool. We were just gonna draw the detail, and then you know, once we add the, the the blur tool to it, we lower the detail. Therefore, we don't destroy the art while doing it, and also saves a lot of time. Also, it makes the uh, also it makes a bloom effect, which is quite cool because if you play video games or something like that, and you have a bloom effect on something, oh well, man, it looks pretty. Also here with this uh, with this texture I can actually create shading which is one of the main things that I really like about this. I can give the I can give the people of oh I can give the tree a feeling of old or you know tree bark effect which is a quite a nice addition. Let's put the same. Let's put it that way. And we're just, you know, building up towards the part that we need to do. And then once we're there, then, you know, we're going to add the stuff in that we need. And then we need to actually technically redraw the last bit. Because, you know, I sadly did it on the wrong layer. Luckily, we only have to redraw the tree part because we can actually, you know, format, we can actually edit the uh, leaves out of the tree part and then, you know, only, and then use the tree part, uh, the, tr the leaf part as a, as a other part as well. So it should not be that difficult. I just want to have the whole tree on one layer. And that's the main thing. This also lowers down the amount of, um, amount of space it needs to be because you know 5.8 or 5.6 gigabytes of uh, usage because of you know the drawing aspect of it is a lot and I mean like a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot, a lot. so now we're gonna move here All right. There you go. All right. That will fix it, and then we're gonna go right over here. So as you can see, I'm actually adding some lines to it that will cause the tree to age a bit, and create shading while you know implementing you know lines to it that we can use then while we're gonna do the shading part. So 
So first we're gonna remove this kind of uh, uh, color and then we're gonna add the original color in that we need. And then once we are done with the other part, then we're gonna add then we're gonna add the other thing of color to it as well. So then you know we're gonna have the full tree be in full color, which implements everything. Well, at least, you know, that's the idea of it. Implementation, however, is a little bit more tricky than you think. Alright. Oh, hey, F uh, FE Gamer. Uh, General Gamer, what a surprise. General Grievous, uh, uh, Weezes, and, Co and Koch. <laughs> Alright, that's a great joke. That's a great joke. I like it. So yeah, the amount of uh, stuff in the uh, in the tree right here. Did you know, by the way, that I'm already at like I believe 117 episodes already. Probably, I already did 170 episodes on this bad boy. Yeah. So that's 170 hours of work already on this. And trust me, um, if you see. If you see Kreta, uh, my uh, I will I'll show you. I will show you soon. The uh, I will show you once uh, w once the once the time is running out. I'll show you the uh, the exact amount of time I already have spent on Kreta. That's like insane amount. It's like what the hell? How much time have you spent in like one in two years? Well, you know, getting a tablet and then you know working on getting better at drawing and then you know suddenly you're like almost every day you're drawing and then it's like ah oh, well look at that i'm every day drawing it doesn't matter because you know you're still learning so therefore it should not be mattering if you are now spending more hours on drawing the good thing about that is that well you know you're learning it's not like i have anything else to do anyway so why not why not improve upon myself why not it's one of the best things to do improving getting better Getting to, getting to know people, knowing how they work, knowing how they tick, and then, you know, use that information to become a better person yourself. Uh, I think uh, that's a uh, great ambition, honestly. Now, uh, let's see, I want here, I want some, here, I want some, and then right over there a bit. Oh man, this part is horrible, mate. Well, it's time to improve a bit. As you can see, it's all about, you know, these lengthy bits, which uh, apparently are all there, which we need to fix a bit. Because we also want to have small bits in the tree. We don't always want to have big bits. Uh, big bits are good, but, you know, we don't want this tree to be putting all the intention upon ourselves. I have made 20, 25 jokes today, and it is the second joke that uh, that isn't a pun. Oh no. Oh no. Not a pun. Well, you know, a good a good pun is always great, but, you know, you know what's all, also great? A fantastic experience, you know, when you're trying to cook. <laughs> Uh, a good pan is uh, half the effort, honestly. I actually had some terrible pans. In the, uh, like, one that actually was like, Ah, well, look at that. Everything's now totally charcoal. Yeah, that's not a good pan. That's not a good pan at all to use. So I actually kind of fired that thing. Got rid of it. And then, you know, uh, I need to go over here fixing things up so therefore we need to go to over here grabbing this grabbing that and start brushing because we need to redesign the tree a bit well the tree looks nice and all but we need to redesign the color a bit uh, no, no 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 we're not gonna do the old-fashioned move we're gonna do the old-fashioned move without without doing uh, 
a lot of uh, backdrop. Yeah. All right. Good, 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 good. Now we need to grab ourselves the old-fashioned design tool, and that is a color. What color do we need? Well, we need this color right here. The exact color. Right there. And then we need to pick up back again the original pencil, and then we can start drawing again. I know that this sounds a little bit too much of a complication when I have like a tree and then you know doing the doing that same thing again because you know I did it already a lot a lot of last time but hey you know uh, consistency in in making sure your artwork looks nice is important so therefore you know we have to do this this is an option I cannot do not skip well if I had like a time skip I would but. I'm not feeling like having a time skip. I have like, if I had a time skip, things would uh, mm, a little more lighter, a little more lighter. There you go. You know, when you see those uh, drawings and they have like these time skips effects and all that stuff, and you can see like the drawing coming to life and they're like speed drawing. Yeah, that is all cool and stuff, but I really appreciate, you know, the seeing this step by step by every day and every hour. Honestly, that is actually more useful because the information that you get from it is more reliable. Eh. I must live now. Uh, uh, you will have a lovely day. Well, you have a lovely day too, uh, Item Wizard. And don't forget... Don't forget, everybody knows that items are very cool. So, you know, being a wizard about items... Mm, that's a very cool idea. Um, so yeah, I I like seeing things going step by step. You know, when you when you're building a house and you and you see like somebody building a house really quickly, that will work. But honestly, you know, you're not gonna be picking up the uh the whole process about it. Like you know, if you're working on something, for instance, on a on some food, you're cooking some food, yeah. The whole, uh, the whole, the whole speed of cooking, you know, you put, you put your eggs in, you put everything in, and then, and then everything is uh, done. You know, and in, it is not always the same thing. You know, I, I get it, more people doing it, of of course, but it's not my thing. I, uh, I prefer to take it slow and casually, and then you know, improve upon itself, seeing. How things go from step by step, seeing how, you know, getting the texture done and seeing the texture come to life is uh, one of those things that can happen. Um, this is actually too bright? Probably yes. Uh, so we should then definitely get this one right here. That's better. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a stampy pull for this because otherwise I'm gonna be confused about it again next time. Big giant puddle. There you go. Yeah. Keep doing this bit. Because we don't want to get confused here. But yeah, seeing the bits going upwards, seeing the effects that, you know, you did ba uh, back then, you know, seeing it all come to life, it's it's a quite cool effect to see happening. Of course, you know, not everybody can uh, have the patience to, you know, just watch a video and see it all come together. But I like to do it anyway. Because it's a... Uh, it's from for me it's informative to know what I did wrong or what I did not wrong. I get that people need to know everything and want to see like the end result of this drawing quicker. Yeah, that would be nice, but as I promised myself, you know, I want to live stream this is a project that I'd like to live stream and then, you know, see it progress itself because that's how 
lot, and that's how my projects work. You know, you can see it all come to life at the end. Well, uh, I'm sure I'll have a good day. Skip forward to uh, in fo uh, in food. Ooh, pure skills. Yep, indeed, pure skill indeed. But yeah, the um, the amount of stuff that uh, that happens, you know, when you're trying to draw, and you realize like, ah oh, man, this this whole damn thing, you know, it's a uh, it's a little bit hard to do. And then I'm like, yeah, of course it's hard to do. It's a project. If you if you ever went to a project with more people, you were like, oh man, I wish not that we had to work together on this project. Or oh man, this project is hard to do because of A, B, or C reasons. And uh, you know that's what happens right now. We're we're confronted by a reason why this project is a bit hard to do because you know we're we're making mistakes, which can happen. You know mistakes are you know human, so therefore you know mistakes are happening. And how to prevent those mistakes from happening again is by learning from it. Learning from such mistakes is a hard thing to do for most people because, you know, people don't like to see the mistakes happening. Um, for instance, if you see a mistake and you're trying to draw and then it's like, ugh, this looks ugly. Try to not look at it like it looks ugly. Try to... See it as, you know, ah, oh, man, you make a tiny mistake. Well, congratulations, L you learned that this is not right. So how are you going to fix it? And by that, you know, the negativity in the in the whole damn thing is like, you know, gone because, you know, your your mindset is different. Your mindset is like, ah, oh, man, instead of, ah, oh, man, it's more like, oh, no, I made a problem. Oh, well, I made I made a mistake. Well, time to fix it. And then once it's fixed, you know, you're going to have the better look on it. And that is, uh, that's what counts. I really like how my, uh, how, how, for instance, I, you know, first, or the first time I ever drew the, uh, uh, first time I ever drew Mina was like horrendous, all right? It was like a potato head looking like a horrible, uh, hor like a horror show from uh, out of uh, nothing. Now, right now, I'm actually quite happy to see that, you know, faces are getting better shaped, uh, the shading on the face is getting better. Of course, you know, clothing is still a thing, but, uh, you know, fa the face and the, the hair, the head, are now far more, uh, far more better than before. Before, I had, like, these problems that are very annoying to deal with, you know. I couldn't get the face right. I couldn't, and uh, de therefore, you know, the body is ruined. I could do the body quite. The body is, the body is most likely the more easier part than the face because you know the face, people will look at the face and the body is like, sideshow, almost. Not always, but almost. And the idea of you know, getting the uh, getting the face right at the beginning, will give you a buffer field. It's a time. It's like you know. Watching a movie and then realizing that the movie script sucks, but it looks pretty though, and then you know you get that point. It's always a buffer zone that you need. Like if you if you're bad at something, you need to make it up by something else, and then you need to train on that what you're bad at. And I did that. I am terrible. I am good at drawing environments. I'm good at drawing. I'm good at drawing some types of buildings. What I'm not good at is drawing humanoids. I am absolutely horrendous at drawing humanoids. Then in why in the god's name that I actually went with humanoids, it's because I actually need to draw humanoids for the visual novel to be to be precise. That visual novel, I am not good at writing, but I want to make this visual novel because it will improve my writing skills and it will improve my English as well. This causes me to learn better how to pronounce or how to write certain types of sentences which sometimes are, you know, a pain in the ass to deal with. Also, I like to sh also I like to see if I could write a story that would work with no uh, where the where there is no bloody damn Mary Sue in it. Well, you know, it that is a thing, right? Right? Yeah, yeah, probably. Well, at least or the Mary Sues are not or the Mary Sue aspect is not visible at least, you know, not pointed into your face and uh, 
isn't obvious. So, that is the idea. Of course, you know, I am a very uh, realistic person when it comes to writing, and therefore, you know, uh, I don't like to write realistic things, because, you know, I'm like, eh, I already have seen this twice in my life, I don't have to see it again. I rather just want to write some comedy or something funny. And that is when, uh, you know, the Magical Girl uh, story came across. It's like, well, if somebody else can make something like that happening, well, don't mind me just trying to do it as, as well, you know. Getting getting some humor in there or getting some uh, story in there, but make it kind-hearted. Just not, you know, fully edgy and it has been a dark time for the age of man. Only a few survived in the griddle parts in the, in, in the Empire. Most of the enemies have been slain, but still one remains. The Zabadabadoo. Yes, the Zabadabadoo was a very scary folk. With their machetes, they came across the land with pure hearted energy. You know, it's like, yeah, let's, uh, let's not do that. Let, let's not try to make a very, very, uh, cruel story where everything is gonna be death and decay. I'm like, nah, that's not my style. So I went with the idea of, you know, making this, not comedy, but more like action, uh, slice of life-ish kind of effect. Probably that's the word. I have no idea here. But yeah, I went for that kind of an idea and, uh, and I really like it already. It's uh, like, you know, you're trying to introduce you're trying to introduce all the three girls and then, you know, you try to introduce the main plot of the story and joke and joke of uh, and and make a joke or uh, make make a joke of uh, you know, the casual way to do it, you know. Normally when you have a magical girl story it's probably gonna be like, Oh no, they have magical power, so they're always powered by friendship. And of course that's still, you know, the main source of what is going to be happening still the idea of friendship is not supposed to be like oh you beat the enemy by friendship yeah but you don't say it out loud that <laughs> that is the main idea like you don't want to say it out loud otherwise it comes out really uh mm, how do we say that uh, it's a little bit too obvious of course you want to make it of course you want to make the story likable so therefore you know you put some elements in there that everybody likes like magic and all that stuff and you put some memorable memorable villains in there uh i realized that you know one of the memorable villains is still you know a very nice nice villain to have even though you know he poses no threat to the girls most of the time because well he's a very stupid character when it comes to how he works He's not stupid in itself, he is just, you know, he, he has a flaw. <gasps> what? Villains that have flaws? Oh man, I haven't seen that in for a long while. Yeah, same me. Uh... So what I did to make sure that all the all the girls have uh, have flaws, all, all the villains have flaws, and play around with that, you know, play around with that aspect, like, nobody is perfect, but if you work together, you know, you can achieve a lot of things. That is the idea, like, you know, teamwork saves the day, eventually. And, uh, that is, that, that is the main motto of the story, you know, you want, you want, you, you have friends, and so, you know, you use those friends to pass the greater evil, otherwise, you know, it would not be a wholesome story, because, you know, you're making friends along the way, and those friends can help you beat, beat the new baddies. And that is, uh, Quite a lovely thing to have, you know. I really like how how the whole story goes right now. Uh, with the first with the first chapter done and the second chapter now in progress. Then doing the daily walks actually makes me, you know, think about what I'm gonna be doing with that. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing further after the first two chapters, and I'm like, oh man, I could do this, I can do that, I can do this, I can do that. How amazing! And that makes it that makes the whole the whole story like very uh very entertaining to just you know think about it because if I can think about it and I can imagine it then well you know everybody else can imagine it well that's the kind of idea at least of course you know <laughs> 
not everybody is me, so therefore I need to make sure that I'm writing it properly. Uh, which is the problem. Uh, my heavy dyslexia and uh, co uh, heavy dyslexia and not being native to the language is a bit of a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Yeah, it's a bit of a bitch when it comes to that. I mean, most of it, most of it can be done quite easily, but uh, yeah, the uh, the the last bits, the bit, the bits that the bits are that are problematic is like. Oh, you forgot this word, or you mean this word, but you wrote the wrong word wrong. And then it's like, but I use autocorrect. And it's like, yeah, but autocorrect doesn't correct the words properly. It only gives you the answer that you think you are. And then it's like, why can I not see this? And then, you know, you, you come to the realization that you, you screwed yourself over. Oh, man. I was like, why are the words missing in my story? I, I, I swear I saw them. And it's like... No, you didn't saw them. You made them up in your mind. It's like, ah, this again? She's Louise. So, yeah. Stories and all that stuff. It's it's going to be a fun story, honestly. And I really like I really like how, I'm, how much progress I'm making. It's like, oh, damn, I'm making progress. Holy hell, that's amazing. Because most of the, uh, most of the, most of the story right now is just, you know, uh, just a few words, but you know, still, it's making pro progress is what counts. Working on it, making progress, working on the working on the drawing, working on the writing, working on most of the uh, most of the ideas inside of my head, making sure I put those ideas on a pa piece of paper so that you know my head has a rest a resting a resting day is also important. So therefore, you know, I'm not supposed to forget that. But yeah, I really like how uh, the whole idea of, you know, creating something out of scratch and then, you know, only you making it. Oh, man. It's lovely. Of course, you know, I can... I, of course, you know, it's a one-man one man team making it. And it's like, it might take a lot of days. It might take, like, at least a year or something to come up with everything or make everything up. But once you have everything, you know, you can make it quite easily and then make it accessible for everyone. Because, as I always think about it, it's like, I could make this not for everyone. And then just, you know, let people pay for it. And I'm like, yeah, I could do that. But why would I? D yes, it will make me, it will make me maybe some money. It make me, like, the whole 20 cents. And I'm like... True, true, true. But if I don't do that, people will appreciate it if I make mistakes. So therefore, I shouldn't do it. And therefore, you know, I won't do it. Because I'm not, because maybe, maybe because I'm not fully confident in my own writing skills, it might sound a little bit bad to do so, but it would be, uh, it would be a very smart idea from my perspective. Um, the idea of you know giving everybody the uh, giving everybody a free novel just to read is a very cool and nice idea in 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 the full in the full line of progress. Uh, yeah 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 yeah. All right. Mm. I think I am gonna be cutting it here because of my. Mind that is literally mind-boggling right now. Um, I'm gonna be showing you uh, one more thing before I'm gonna leave. So, behold, this right here is the hours already spent on it. So, once I played this, once I played the, once I had this game, or once once I had the software, it was like two years ago. So two years ago, and within two years, I already have eight hours in there. Uh, that is like almost the same as bloody damn Skyrim, I believe, because Skyrim right here. Uh, let's see where Skyrim is. Where is me? Oh man, I need to get me. Eh. Where's Skyrim? I can show you then. Skyrim. Yeah, there, there you go. So Skyrim only has oh, 100 hours, and the other Skyrim has 500 hours. So it's already almost at the part where we are, 
right now that is like you know we already hit the march of 800 so that's almost as close to uh let's see which one cross out i believe probably no cross out not absolutely not nope but uh yeah it's getting it's getting closer to um closer to what i normally do so normally i switch around from uh playing video games and i'm drawing then walking so in the morning playing video games then in the midday drawing and then after that i will go for a walk and then you know uh going there oh, all right well i wanted to cut it anyway so i wish you also a great and lovely day uh Afri gamer and uh i'm gonna be cutting hair myself as well so uh to everybody i want to wish you all a lovely day and i hope i'll see you all next time until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day. Bye!